Hello guys, uh, welcome to my second or an additional to the first video tutorial on uh, installation of QGIS and uh, I'm going to take you through this uh, video on whereby we are going to install QGIS in uh, Linux uh, Ubuntu. So I've installed uh, Ubuntu inside um, VirtualBox uh, on my Windows machine. So this is a virtual box so I'm going to put a link in the description on how to where you can get the virtual box uh, you, uh, you can use it to install your operating uh, system uh, like Ubuntu uh, desktop if you're using Windows or any other operating system so we're just going to log into our Ubuntu and then after logging in what you can do you can just uh, open the terminal by clicking Control alt and letter T or you can also just search for terminal and uh, it will open the terminal and the first thing that we are going to do we are going to ensure that we have the latest updates in our system And uh, if not, then it's, these commands are going to update. While it's doing that, we're going to drag our terminal to one end here. And uh, we are going to open our browser. In this case, I'm using, I'm going to use the Mozilla Firefox browser. So my system is up to date. So I'm um, going to put Mozilla on this other side. This is Mozilla. I'm going just to search for QGC installer, and uh, you're going to see. You're going to go to this link for QGIS.org all downloads. So the QGIS installer. It contains installers for all the operating systems, and then we are immediately going to navigate to Debian. Uh, Linux uh, and Linux we have the Debian or Ubuntu so this is a guideline for installing QGIS in the operating system so we first need to install some like prerequisites yeah, and we already have them then we are going to install the what you call the QGIS signing key so this key ensures that we install the correct software or we are installing the correct software or authentic, uh, an authentic software from the QGIS uh, themselves. So this is uh, to maybe uh, deal with uh, some, if there is a malicious QGIS installer that has been developed somewhere, then this key is uh, sort of confirmed that we are not downloading a non-authentic uh, software. So I'm going to add the repo QGIS repository and in this case, instead of using Debian, I'm going to just put in Ubuntu and I'll paste the rest. So this is adding the, the repository, the, the URL into our database, repository database in the our operating system. So it's fetching uh, some files from that uh, link. Yeah, and there seems to be a warning of sorts. Uh, this is configured the main library i386. So this i386 stands for 32-bit package. And it's, it states that this does not support 32-bit architecture. So my software is a 64-bit architecture. Uh, we can uh, look at that. And settings. 
Uh, let's look at our settings about. So you need to ensure that or uh, you need to know whether your system is 32 bit or 64 bit. So I'm just going to go to my about. So if you look at these, it says that my operating system type is 64 bit. So we need to add that 64 bit, uh, tell our system that we want to update or install our 64 bit. So we can do this by editing. We'll have to do a manual edit for our file. So I'll use, I'll use the nano, the editor that comes with the Ubuntu, apt sources.list. So I'm going to go, this is the command that we have just added in our previous uh, our previous uh, command that we had used. So I'll just add the architecture indicator that the architecture that we want to use is 64 which is indicated by M AMD64. So architecture is equals to AMD64. They're closed in these square brackets and to ensure that there is a space after the, the DEB and uh, after, after it as well there's a space before the URL or the link to the repository. So I'll just save and I'll do sudo apt update to update the repository as indicated here and after that let's see if there is any errors I presume there won't be any so just clear and then I'm going to install QGIS and uh, grass plugin also it, it asks us if we want to continue and also indicates how much space it's going to use slightly under one gigabyte so right now it's downloading packages all different packages that uh, they're going to be used during the installation so you can also install QGIS server if you so wish uh, depending on your use and uh, there is more details on the repositories uh, it explains what uh, they know all the repositories that are there so in our case we have used we are downloading the latest release which is uh, QGIS Hanover and uh, it indicates also the uh, the specific repository like now we have the Debian repository we have Ubuntu we also have Ubuntu GIS uh, once again we have the nightly builds so this Ubuntu GS is for the unstable uh, dependencies uh, we also have the nightly releases for both Debian and Ubuntu and also Ubuntu GS and then in our first video for the installation we install the long-term release in the Windows so this is the long-term release at the time of this uh, recording uh, it's called QGIS Ecoruna uh, LTR indicating the long term release so we have the Debian and Ubuntu and once again you have the Ubuntu GIS long term releases and then you also have the development version so this is uh, in alignment or you know in agreement with the uh, default uh, github repository for the QGIS so this is the recommended uh, version for the developers uh, those who are developing QGIS so we also have nightly nightly builds for the same and for the Ubuntu GIS nightly builds. And then it also indicates the, distri the distro, what you call the distributed versions. We have Debian and Ubuntu versions, specific versions that are supported. So you can also install it in uh, 18, Ubuntu 18, uh, called the Bionic Beaver. You can also install it on 19.04, 19.10 indicated by also the these code names and in our case we are working with ubuntu 20.04 which is uh, also known as a focal forza and uh, there's also the debian version 10 point uh, x uh, point something and the sid so then we also have a list of uh, instructions you can edit this file manually or you can also do as we did adding the the repository using one command and then uh, this for the Debian so basically we have these uh, uh, DB 
uh, the DB statement and then we have the repository which is uh, normally the URL or the link to that repository and the code name represents the name for the uh, the, the specific uh, maybe the specific operating system like in this code name you could be having something like bionic uh, bionic main uh, if it is 1904 we could be having disco main uh, aeon main or uh, focal main so in our case we have the focal main because we are using focal forza uh, ubuntu focal forza and then uh, after that you can do your update so that's what we have done and uh, also the documentation indicates that you can also install your QGIS server so uh, there's also a notification here that it says you need to remove all the packages so that you have installed in other repositories before doing an update remember we also added our key somewhere uh, so this, this is just to for authorization purposes and then we also have if you're using fedora then you can also use uh, this, uh, the specific commands to install them and also the uh, dependent on the fedora versions and then it ex also explains uh, about the long-term release for the fedora and uh, support for the others like red hat enterprise linux and uh, centos and also uh, scientific linux and uh, suse open suse so the list uh, is quite uh, you know it's uh, non exhaustive because you have so many linux distributions so we have all these listed at the bottom here uh, to, uh, the bottom uh, towards the documentation and also we have support also for mac os the free bsd license and also the support for android and uh, you can also build your QGIS from the source uh, you can download it from github and uh, build it uh, but that is for the advanced users so in our case we, we've just done it the you know the straightforward way so that's what we have uh, let's uh, QGIS is now installing it has already downloaded the packages so it is now installing and it is indicating the progress of the progress bar the bottom here that continues uh, addi adding with the speed so depending on your internet speed and depending on your network uh, speed as well so the internet service providers speed and the bandwidth that you are using then the download will uh, take time depending on that and also the installation as well is also dependent on your the strength of your machine uh, the processor and the uh, random access memory the ram so and once it's complete what you're going to do we are going to test see so we don't seem to have any errors maybe some warnings however the if we had an error it could have stopped installing or show some red text so we're just going to clear our terminal and I'm going to run QGIS. So this is a, you can see the splash screen. Restoring loaded plugins already. So yeah, so we have our QGIS. You can see it's indicating the operating system, Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So we have uh, successfully installed our QGIS. So I have also added it on the link here but you can also look for it search it up here and you will get it in the shortcuts so that is uh, basically how we install our QGIS in uh, Ubuntu and uh, feel free to uh, drop in a comment and you can also like and hit or hit subscribe in the uh, button below and uh, we'll continue with uh, our next uh, series on QGIS and we're going to see how we can work with uh, raster and vector data in uh, QGIS. Let's meet in the next uh, video.